All right, here for another part. So I think this would be a good time to check our edge loops here. Oops, make sure with Control R. There we have one there, one there. We've also, which is really nice, we're supposed to have an edge loop flowing from the nose down to the kind of chin area, and we have preserved that nicely. So that is great. Uh, here you see we have a pole which is a, a vertice that has five or more connecting edges. And see we have one, two, three, four, five. And this is just about the place where we would uh, have it, so that's okay. Uh, just make sure you don't have uh, too many poles. Uh, one rule to abide by, which is pretty useful, is to never have a pole with more than five edges. Because that could really, really screw it up. Okay, let's check around the eyes here. Okay. And it seems like we are, we're good. We've got some edge slips there. Okay, so now right now, if we go out of uh, edit mode, you can see. Let's go ahead and turn on our subsurf modifier just to show you guys where we are. Oh, let's press Control N to recalculate the normals. You can see we we're not really we're not really doing that great, but uh, once we get a little bit further. You guys will see, and it'll look really, really nice. So let's go ahead and turn that back off. Set this solid. Oh. I should probably rename this. Let's go ahead, ahead retopo. Okay. Now, uh, another thing that I haven't covered yet is painting topology, which is a really, really cool feature. And uh, I think this would be a great time to show you guys. Yeah, this would be. So, uh, first thing I, I want to do is have a bring an edge loop, bring an e edge up here, and then after just have a follow all the way down here to the chin. So let me just show you guys how to paint re uh, topology really quick. But first things first, let's go ahead and select this through this one here, and then we'll just extrude this up here. And that way we don't have to extrude every single one and add a face to every single one. Just uh, makes it a lot easier. Okay, so now that we have that, let me just show you uh, how to paint topology on there. First thing we need to do is go to paint. We have pen, that's fine. So first thing we need to do is uh, draw our line. So we're just going to draw our line here, right to there. Okay, now this is one. We can keep adding this, you see, uh, because we have our circle here. If we click that, we can keep adding. But we don't want to, that's fine. Now what we're going to do is add another one. Uh, let's just say here. It's along this here. And now we're just going to add where, uh, a line where we want our edges. So we're just going to add one here, 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 and here. Okay, now all we have to do is press Enter. And you can see we painted topology. Yeah, which is really cool. Now we do have to do a little work, but uh, that's that's not a problem. It would have been a little bit easier to just uh, do what we've been doing. Did it turn that soft or something? Yes, it did. Okay, but uh, it would have been easier to do what we've been doing. But uh, you know, it's uh, it's not a problem. It's cool. Let's press W, uh, so it's solid. Oops, it's smooth, so it's solid. I'm trying to figure out something here. Let's go ahead and press a V. Yeah, okay. So here, we have another pole, and this is about where we'd want our other pole to be anyway, so that's cool. That's fine. We're just going to merge these by pressing, uh, shift selecting both and pressing Alt M at center. There we go. And then we're just going to do this last part manually. Now here, when we have this many uh, faces and stuff, it gets a little tricky using uh, X-ray. So just be mindful of that. I might actually want to get rid of this uh, edge loop here, just on account of it's uh, it's uh, it doesn't seem necessary. But we'll see later. Just doing what we've been doing. Control clicking. It doesn't take much to make. A nice topologized model. I think we have a. Uh, we've preserved all of our major edge loops. Now it's def. It's nowhere near perfect, but that's that's uh, that's okay. So we're probably gonna have to add another edge loop here. So anyway, 
we have another poll here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a bad thing. So we're going to take this, press V, make sure we're above here. Um, and we're going to delete that vertex here. And then we're going to go ahead and, uh, let's see, maybe extrude one here. No. Let me just think. We've got a face here. That could work. And then maybe, hmm. Uh, I'm just. Uh, I just want to make sure I keep my uh, my topology and everything. Actually, let's go ahead and uh, rip this one. Oops, wrong way. I'm gonna rip this bottom part here. Okay, and uh, maybe rip this one as well, and then delete it, and then uh, maybe rip these two as well. And then do this maybe. Oops. And then um, if I merge that there, one, two, three, four, four, F. And then afterwards, um, do we still have that pole? One, two, three, four. No, it's just a five uh, star pole now, so it's fine. We have to get rid of that sixth pole. Now we have uh, one, two, three, four. Actually, uh, yeah, that that'll work. That'll work fine. Okay, so now now that we have that, uh, for this portion here, we're gonna go ahead and turn off retopo because uh, it works a little weird with uh, the nose holes and such. So we're just gonna extrude it in a little bit and then move it in a little bit and scale as well and then we're gonna bring it in here scale it down make sure it's going back up like this okay we got a little edge loop here so that's nice now we can uh, thicken it up a little bit here and we also have an edge loop there now so now we can uh, Select these here and make a little. Let's turn retopo back on. Make a somewhat of a, a nasal bridge there, or whatever you want to call it. It's too thin though. All right. See, we need a loop here. We'll bring this out like so. Smooth. Bring this out as well, maybe bring this up a little bit or down. Okay. And we need to need another loop here as well. Then we need to select. Let's go ahead and uh, turn on the uh, back face occlusion here. Make some. Make these folds here. Oh. We need to move these one at a time. I'm going to turn off my uh, edge selection there. these back we probably need to add one here to smooth it out later too all right there we go cool um, we do yeah we need to just keep that right there for now do we have a loop here? Yes, we do. And a loop here, and a loop here. Okay. Let's go ahead and just uh, fix up a couple vertices here. Do we have a six star pole again? I can't tell. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, we do. So we need to fix that in the next part. Put this down some. Or do we? I don't know. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, we have this one here too. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, we do. But nothing we can't fix. So let's go ahead and save this out one more time. Part three. 
all right and i will see you in the next part all right guys thanks bye